Gary Kelly, CEO of Southwest Airlines with me. Oh, we have just a few minutes with you because you're, you're running a major airline, so you, you gotta go. But we had fun out there just talking about uh, your journey in Southwest, 32 years, is that right? Yeah. 32? I want you to share what you love most about the culture of Southwest Airlines because you came in as a controller and you moved up and now you're the CEO and over that time you've just really become steeped in the culture and what do you love most about it? Well, you know there are a lot of things that I love about the culture at Southwest. I think the thing, you know, I talked earlier about how proud I am that we've never had a, a layoff or a furlough, um, you know, just the fact that our employees know they've got job security and they're accumulating wealth for their retirement and get their kids married and send them to college um, is very meaningful for me. But I think e even more important than that, just the passion that our people have for what they do, we're very proud of Southwest. We're very proud of the fact that we're low cost and that we keep our fares low. We make travel affordable so that everybody can fly because everybody has something that's important to them, whether it's a business meeting or going on a family vacation. And that just really is important to us. We don't charge bag fees, we don't charge change fees. And I think those are good business decisions, but as importantly, we don't want our customers feeling like they're nickeled and dimed. And uh, everywhere we go, we hear, oh, I love Southwest Airlines. And that's what we're, that's what we live for, you know, and I think that that is, that's the thing that really excites me the most. Yeah, people enjoy working at Southwest Airlines. It's, it's very obvious, but I am told that it is a great tradition at Southwest Airlines that Gary Kelly dresses up at Halloween. It's like a big deal. You, is it a secret or do you let it out of the bag before you show up? And then also take us to that. Is it a big Halloween party? What is the deal there? I need some facts. You know, um, <laughs> in the early days of Southwest, it was just spontaneous. And we were talking about culture. Yeah. And uh, what do families do? Well, they spend time with each other. They celebrate, they celebrate everything. And um, sometimes do uh, silly things, but you know, now it's kind of fashionable to do all these team building things. I can assure you, if you get a group together working on a skit with costumes and, uh, you know, sort of sets, that's a big team building that's exercise. Right. But yeah, no, it's a, we, we have it, I keep it as a secret. And usually they keep it as a secret from me. So yeah, we've had a lot of fun with now, it. Now, is this a big corporate Halloween party? Is that right? At the headquarters, yeah. that's where this happens? Yeah. Or right, what's your favorite costume over the years? Do you have one? Well, uh, probably Captain Jack Sparrow. Yes. And the year before, I was uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss. And I've Come gotten on. to know Gene Simmons. Come on, you did the whole face I did paint. the whole thing, and it was actually very inexpensive. I had an old wig from when I was Captain <laughs> Hook. And I rented some, some pieces, and then... Oh, that's hilarious. Um, the next year, I spent about a thousand bucks on the costume for Captain Jack Sparrow. My wife wasn't real happy, but... I was really good. It, I'll bet. That's but really it's cool. a, it, after 32 years, I am kind of running dry on uh, my next idea. So if you all have any ideas. I'd yeah, yeah just submit them in the comment section. We'll pass them along. <laughs> uh, what do you guys do that works so well to reward people? You know, because I think that's fascinating for leaders that are listening in today. You know, it's, it's not always the expensive reward, is it? it you know, I, but, you know, to the monetary aspect of that, I don't sense that our senior leaders uh, or other employees are that motivated to do things by money. Mm -hmm. I think they do it primarily as a matter of pride. Sure. I don't think they're thinking that, oh, if I get this done, I'm gonna get a bonus for it. Right. Uh, on the other hand, I, you know, I do, the financial rewards are important. I'm not saying to ignore them, but it's not the primary driver. Um, you know, what we'll do is we have a frequent flyer program and uh, uh, one of the things that our employees really love are the flight privileges, sure. you know, the ability to fly for free. Oh, yeah. So um, what they, what what's actually has a better impact even than dollars are points sure. in, a, in their frequent flyer account, if you will, that they can turn into uh, reserved seats uh, in terms of a ticket. So we do all those kinds of things. but. Um, we have more important, I think, than the rewards or the recognition. 
and we recognize the heck out of our employees and look for any excuse we can to celebrate. And some are formal, some are less formal. Uh, you know, we were talking earlier about communication, make sure everything's coordinated. If everything, if anything right now, I think we suffer from a little bit of a lack of coordination of all the recognitions that are oh, taking sure. place. Yeah. So we get an opportunity for an audience to get to watch from all around the country, even around the world. When they hear slogans like transparency, I've always thought that was pretty cool. But there's something behind that. That's not just a marketing thing that somebody thought of and you all went, hey, that's great. That really is the motto of how Southwest serves us and, and those that fly on your airline. Uh, they rarely get to hear from the CEO. So what does that mean to you and the leadership and for every person that they ever encounter at an airport? What does transparency mean? You know, I think if there's one word that could try to capture what we are trying to have with our customers, it's trust. Yeah. And the decisions that we make about what we charge, what we charge for, uh, is filtered through who we are. You know, so we, we want to be low cost, we want to be friendly, we want to be reliable, uh, but we want to be trusted. And that's why we don't like the add-on charges. Um, if our customers liked them, we would do them too, but they hate them. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's where that transparency word was coined. And trust is an overused word, so yeah. it's hard to say, hey, you can trust us. Right. But that's the essence of what we're trying to achieve, and we just try to live up to that every single day. Well, you do. He is Gary Kelly, the CEO of Southwest Airlines. We appreciate Gary being with us here.